Hey Gleamies! So today I actually wanted to do a quick review on the Mungyo Aquarelle Oil Pastel. They're extra soft water soluble pastel sticks. I went to the shops just to check out what new stock that they had in my art store. I usually go to Herbert Evans, which is one of our big art stores that we have in Johannesburg. There aren't any in Cape Town, at least I don't think, but they restocked a lot of the things that I needed. Most of the stuff that I ended up having to import, which I'm glad that they actually brought it into the country, at least now I know where to get my, now officially, my oil pastel water soluble sticks and my uh, Montmart twistable pins, which actually I think they're only at PNA, so I might be wrong about that. So before I actually went to Herbert Evans, I looked online and on Amazon I found this exact set of 24 sticks and I didn't really know whether they were good or not, but they were 300 bucks in the store and well, 300 rand, 388 rand to be precise. And on Amazon, they're about $9, so they're cheaper in, on Amazon, but to import them, you have to pay an additional $16. So kind of added up where they would be cheaper in um, Herbert Evans for me. So I gave the first test of using a swatch, and the colors came out really nice and, and luminous. The feeling was so smooth if I can say that it, it felt like the gel pens that I used by Montmartre but they're not they're actually the oil colors that you get from Mangyo and Mangyo also has these really amazing watercolor half pans but they're really quite expensive and even buying the single half pans they're like 50 rand a little small half pan so it's quite pricey so I wanted to give them a try and I'm actually glad I did so the second test that I tried was a blending test and I gotta admit it wasn't quite as great as how I wanted it to be. Like if you use the complementary colors like blue and yellow then you would get green when you shade the blue over the yellow but when you took a piece of paper or your finger and actually sort of rubbing it it kind of rubbed, it did rub very well, eventually, but you really had to like rub the crap out of it. So that was, obviously I think maybe it's the type of paper that I used, so next time I'm gonna try watercolor paper. But it did blend better than what I was expecting it to. And then the third test, I wanted to try out how it blended with water. And I gotta admit, Oil and water do not mix, so with this, I was just flabbergasted. They were coming out more brilliant and radiant than the watercolors. But obviously, when it comes to adding water to even watercolor, it does fade after you've already added water to it. Because remember that watercolor is a pigment. The minute you add water to the pigment, it dilutes it, so it won't come out as brilliant as what it would be in the half pan or what your stick looks like. So I also tried to blend two different colors, an orange and a purple one, to see what would happen, and I was quite impressed how it was coming out. It was blending really nicely. So I definitely think I'm going to give this particular set a try on maybe one of my coloring pieces like maybe one of the birds that i'm busy illustrating or even one of my horse um, coloring book drawings that i have illustrated the nice thing about these oil pastels is that the points are a little bit sharper than you know the montmartre gel sticks that i use because those are quite thick so you sometimes need to be painting on A3 in order for you to actually, you know, get any details at all. But I would definitely rate this a 4 out of 5 experience for me and I cannot wait to start using these oil pastels on my art creations. So 
I would definitely rate this as a thumbs up. 